Paranormal experiences have surrounded our lives for a long time. Who hasn't been with friends who have told stories of this kind? But is it really a fact that science cannot explain? Let's see what they have to say about it. So my old sports, this is EdDevelop, where you will find the best scientific and similar curiosities. Subscribe and activate the notification bell to enrich your day every time we upload a new video, and consider our Patreon. Find the link below in the description. Now, it is time for the fun part. Why don't we start by explaining a little bit about what paranormal events are. The term paranormal is used to describe an event that cannot be explained by science. Paranormal events cannot be explained by the theories of biology, medicine, or physics. Therefore, they are considered extraordinary phenomena, since their acceptance as real would force the modification and updating of the theories of these sciences. Thus, the belief in ghosts, spirits, and other paranormal phenomena has been deeply rooted since ancient times. The texts of Mesopotamian religions speak of ghosts that appear at the time of death and take over the personality and memory of the individual. Such beliefs persist today, but what is the truth of ghosts' stories? Despite the fact that thousands of paranormal researchers have tried to find evidence of the presence of supernatural beings during the last decades, no one has managed to obtain a single convincing proof of their existence. Do you think you can prove their existence? All the supposed physical evidence found so far has turned out to be fakes, camera errors, or too ambiguous to reveal anything of value. Paranormal phenomena? No, fans vibrating the air at 18.98 Hz infrasound, or noises in building structures. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the natural causes that can lead people to believe that they have seen a paranormal event, because although many believers say otherwise, science, more like common sense, can provide explanations for many of these experiences. So here are a few examples that the ghost documentary industry, spiritualist shops, and the exorcist lobby don't want you to know about. Visions, Noises, and Presences A very curious case happened a few years ago. It turns out that in 1998, employees of a laboratory claimed to see ghostly gray figures in their peripheral vision that disappeared as soon as they tried to fix their eyes on them. But when two researchers decided to look into what might be causing these visions, instead of declaring the lab haunted and trying to sell it to the highest bidder without revealing its dark secrets, they found a fan that was vibrating the air at a frequency of 18.98 Hz. Coincidentally, this is almost the same frequency at which our eyeballs resonate. This means that at this frequency, the slight pulsation of the air transmitted to our eyes is greatly amplified deforming the tissue and activating the light-receiving cells in our retinas. And what proof is there that this theory makes sense, and that the researchers didn't just pull it out of their hats? Well, when they turned off the fan, no one had any more ghostly visions. The same phenomenon could explain what happens in places where there are frequent sightings that are considered paranormal, such as the typical haunted house. And you, old sports? Have you had an experience like this that you can tell us about? We'd love to hear it. Strange Sounds Although it is relatively rare for a building to produce sound, it is not uncommon. The structures of our houses are not completely rigid, and over time they deform, creating areas where tension accumulates, and when they give way, can be abruptly released, producing sounds. This phenomenon can be caused by the distribution of weight of the walls themselves, or by the cycles of expansion and compression they undergo during the day and night due to temperature changes. Even water running through pipes can make strange noises that seem much louder than they really are in the silence of the night. Have you ever walked into a room and noticed a sudden change in temperature? It is possible that for you this is an indicator of the presence of a ghost, but it is much more likely that the room is cold for some other reason. A poorly sealed window, poor air circulation, the part of the house where the sun does not shine, etc. There are a thousand perfectly natural causes that offer a more convincing explanation. And what about people who feel presences in their homes? That must be a sign that something otherworldly is present around them, right? It turns out that even the most subjective perceptions can have an external cause of which we are unaware. Take the case of infrasound, sounds that are there disturbing the air but which our ears are unable to perceive. We know we all want to have this kind of experience, but think carefully before adding it to your repertoire of anecdotes. Don't worry old sports, there will be many more fun experiences in your life. Ouija board and the ideal motor effect. But even so, there are things that science cannot explain. How can you explain that the glass on a Ouija board moves by itself? Surely there is a spirit moving it. 
Well, there is the possibility that there is no spirit involved at all. If spirits could move the glass, they wouldn't need everyone to put their hands on it. What causes the glass to move on the Ouija board is a well-studied phenomenon called the ideomotor effect. I bet you never thought of this explanation. It's a psychological process that causes a person to make involuntary movements and get carried away in such a way that they don't realize they're interfering with the movement. Don't you believe me? National Geographic's Brain Games program conducted an experiment to see if a group of volunteers were communicating with the dead, or, on the contrary, producing the message from beyond the grave themselves. During the first Ouija session, the participants asked the spirits several questions on a board, and the entity perfectly guided them through the letters to show them its message. But then the host asked the participants to blindfold themselves for a second Ouija session. The results? The spirit could no longer get the letters right, and its message became absurd. Unbelievable, right? Anyway, these are the kinds of things you find in the paranormal worlds. People who do not try to find a rational explanation for these phenomena, but rather look for any sign that confirms the beliefs they have long since decided are correct. And even when there are perfectly logical and natural explanations for paranormal phenomena, they will simply ignore them as if they did not exist, or look for excuses to invalidate them. Orbs The most significant example of supernatural malpractice is the so-called orbs those whitish circles that appear in photographs from time to time. Ghost hunters call it a good night when they see these things in their graveyard photos. But in reality, as any amateur photographer knows, they are nothing more than particles of dust, moisture, or insects that are close to the camera when the light from the flash goes off. Because they are so close, the light they reflect appears blurred in the image, creating the characteristic circular footprint. What really convinces people of the existence of ghosts and spirits is the testimony of other people. Theoretically, it would be difficult to find a convincing explanation for the thousands of ghostly experiences that people all over the world are having all the time. Possessions According to these stories, a possession basically involves a person being attacked by an evil spirit, a demon, or even Satan himself. These entities enter the victim's body and begin to control it with great violence, rendering the person unconscious, causing tremendous damage, and even causing the individual's death but not before causing deep ordeals, among other things. In short, you may know these stories. All the symptoms are directly related to cases of hysteria, dissociative disorders, and even schizophrenic conditions. The competition between psychology and religion is very tough at this point. Hallucinations, convulsions, self-mutilation, and even speech disorders are pure evidence that something is not working properly in the brain, not in the soul or spirit. A schizophrenic, an epileptic, or even a person with Tourette's syndrome is not possessed. They have a medical problem that can only be identified and treated through science. What do you think about it? That's why it's important to maintain a critical attitude towards these things. I know you'll run out of entertaining anecdotes to tell at parties, that's true, but it's worth it to get rid of the fear of medieval superstition. Do you disagree? Tell us in the comments what you think about this kind of paranormal activity. Try to convince us! Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. See you next time.